Pearson Education has partnered with Bryn Mawr College to explore potential academic applications for the Microsoft HoloLens, an augmented reality device. As a result, Bryn Mawr has created a series of augmented reality slash virtual reality workshops where students are introduced to the HoloLens and its capabilities, as well as internships in which students get hands-on experience in virtual reality programming by developing an educational application for the HoloLens. These internships also provided small groups of female Bryn Mawr students the opportunity to collaborate and innovate in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, or STEAM areas. Here are what students have to say about their experiences. I think um, what the HoloLens is able to do has always been a childhood vision of mine. Um, just that I didn't think that it would come true at any point, especially not when I'm still in college. To actually try it on and experience it myself was something very different. I was really inspired to see that it's really versatile and it has a lot of different capabilities. So there's like the spatial sound and I can see something in real life that does not exist. What I was most surprised about was um, just how much we were able to get done. We just like came to internship and then saying, hey, you're going to make an app within 15 days. But during the internship, I really felt like I had more freedom to explore things that I was interested in and also to just let all of my creativity go into the project. Working with my team was really fun and we, um, we worked really well together and it was really a learning experience. And not all had um, computer science and programming uh, experience. We have a bio, physics, um, and computer science. So, uh, from all those perspectives, it is a really good experience to have to see um, what their ideas were and how we eventually merged to create um, the Hollow Orchestra. We ended up with uh, three apps: the Hollow Strings, the BioBuddy, and uh, our most, um, our biggest project. Um, Museum. In essence, it, the intention was to have a virtual museum where you could just walk into your bedroom or wherever, put on the HoloLens, and be able to step into an actual museum, but without um, covering up everything that's already around you. Hollow Music is a um, virtual orchestra that you can see in your HoloLens. Uh, ideally, we would have all the instruments in, in the orchestra. I think there's like. 12 or 13, so you'd have a lot to choose from. We also got to share our final project with Pearson and show them what we were able to make at the end, and it was really, um, it, it was really comforting to hear them like give feedback and say like, oh man, like this is something really cool, and we're we're proud of what you were able to accomplish. We have uh, technical support from Pearson from the uh, apps that we can look at and see what they were doing. So we can from that. I think it was really cool that we were able to meet Linda, an alum who's working with Pearson and here with ETS. Um, she was kind of like a role model for us in some way. We got all the HoloLens from them, which I'm very grateful about because you know, not many people have the chance to try it. We attended the Microsoft Hackathon where we meet with um, developers from uh, Microsoft and from other parts of the country, we go together, create things together. They asked who actually worked with the Holland. We were the only two girls in the room, but we were only we were also among the few that had actually experienced with it ourselves. I think it helped that we we're all women because Bryn Mawr is a um, women's-centered college. We did uh, a museum on. I think there are a lot of um, important applications of the HoloLens and virtual reality in general that women could contribute to and basically only women would have the perspective and the insight of what to do because there, I think there are a lot of like women health issues and women education that could be um, made through the HoloLens and virtual reality. Everything is evolving and if you don't catch up with the digital trends, you will fall behind. I think that virtual reality and augmented reality have a lot of potential. It has, that hasn't been explored yet. As the years go on, I think it will definitely become more um, normal and integrated into modern society. Through its partnership with Pearson Education, Bryn Mawr has provided unique learning opportunities to students in emerging technologies application development 
while also building technical and professional skills relevant to their futures as leaders in education and industry.